Our business has been here a hundred years and it all started in the First World War. My grandfather was taught as a, a blacksmith and he taught my father, my father taught me and now I'm teaching my daughter. I had no delusions of uh, any other trade, it's the way I want to go. Well, my father was just a general blacksmith and uh, mainly a, a farrier horseshoe. I just liked the idea of uh, working metal. When you're younger, you, you don't think of that, you know, learning a skill from your father. My grandfather, he was retired, but he was still alive when I was a young lad. So I used to hang around uh, the, this blacksmith shop with my grandfather. And we used to play on the fire most days. I know now he was showing us many, many different techniques but at the time we were just playing. So I really had a, a good forward start when I started in the business. Ashley, she started working with us now and I keep getting panic attacks because there's that much I've got to show her and want to show her. I think, have I actually got time in, in 10 years? You don't realise yourself how much you have to pass on until you actually sit down and start doing it. To think that we're in the same forge that my great-grandfather worked in. It just, I mean, you can see it's filled with atmosphere. It's hard to forget <laughs> where we've come from. My dad's strengths are he's very focused on how things are made, the detail of how we produce the work, and that is so important, whereas I'm very focused on design. I'm very particular on the finer little details. So I think our two strengths really complement each other in that way. I don't know what it is, but I can guarantee most people who will have a go at uh, just heating up a bit of metal and hammering it, they'll keep doing it for the rest of their lives. It's something that's very addictive. You put the metal in the fire, it's unpredictable what you're going to pull out, but that's part of the magic of it. Definitely no secrecy in blacksmith, and if you discover a little handy technique or whatever, you know, you show everybody, you know, you can't wait really. And now with the media, yeah, it, it's, it's getting even easier. Put it online on Instagram and show even more people, you know, your techniques. I don't want to retire thinking I'm taking all these skills away with us. This workshop here, it would be a disaster if it wasn't still a, a working blacksmith shop. I would hate to see it go. I would hate to see Blacksmith and die out. It would be such a shame and such a loss. I guess that big encouragement to show, and show people that it doesn't have to be old fashioned. It doesn't have to be traditional. You can create amazing pieces of artwork. Just to show people what it can do is the start, I guess.